Hello and welcome to today's session. I'm going to be showing you how we integrate Microsoft Dynamics and Shopify using DBSync's cloud workflow iPaaS solution. That's integration platform as a service. So we're going to keep this fairly simple and straightforward. When you log into DBSync, this is the first screen you're going to see. So here you're going to see this launch development studio, development studio tab. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now, here you're going to see what's called projects, and projects for us mean the different integrations we have set up based on an endpoint. So here you see Microsoft Dynamics and Shopify. We're going to go ahead and open that one up. And as you can see, we now have a few different items on the menu. We have connectors over here. Now, when you're first connecting your Microsoft Dynamics instance, you're just gonna go ahead and hop in here, look at the username, enter in your credentials, your password, and then your endpoint, your CRM login URL. Very straightforward, once you got that in there, all you have to do is hit validate connection. And once you see that successfully validated, that means that we are 100% good to go on the dynamic side. So over here, we've got Shopify. Now, if we click Shopify, you're gonna have an option to connect and it's just gonna prompt you to go ahead and connect to the store that you are logged into super straightforward process very simple to do i've got multiple shopify stores so that's why it's showing that but here you can see db sync uh, test which i'm already logged into now if we want to go ahead and show you the actual integration the use case that we see most common is what we're going to be showing today and that's uh syncing orders in shopify that's customer that's order, that's product information, over to orders in Dynamics. A lot of folks like to use Shopify as their uh, customer-facing e-commerce platform, but then also do their marketing automation in Dynamics or warehouse management and fulfillment. So if we go ahead and open up our Dynamics instance, here we can see we have an instance with no orders at all. So what we're gonna do is open up our test store in Shopify. Pretty simple, straightforward test store setup just to show you guys how this works. Go ahead and add to cart and let's check out. So one of the great things about DBSync is Beyond just this Dynamics and Shopify integration, we also do accounting integration, we do database integration, any ERP, CRM, uh, major database, third-party application, and anything with open APIs, we can actually connect to. So you've got a full range of functionality, not just limited to two endpoints, but as many as you'd like to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to payment. And for this, I'm going to pull up the Shopify payment gateway dummy card. So sorry for anyone who's trying to steal my credit card information out there. And let's go ahead and pay now. So whenever you go ahead and purchase that means your order has been processed on the Shopify side. You're gonna get this neat little thank you from Shopify that's you know, gonna be your regular order notification. And then what we're going to do is hop into DB Sync, and we're running it manually today because we're inputting one order and wanna show you immediately how it looks, but you can set it up to automatically sync as often as every five minutes, 10 minutes. If you wanna batch at the end of the day, you can do that as well, uh, as frequently as you'd like it to sync. So you get that near real-time data. So if we go into the scheduler, here, here's the scheduler, and this is where you would go ahead and input the different uh, dates, times, how often you'd like the sync to repeat, all of that functionality. So that's what I'm talking about there. But for this, we're gonna go under processes and hit run now. And that's gonna go ahead and tell the sync to go ahead and uh, push all the pending orders from Shopify over into Microsoft Dynamics. And we'll give it a second to complete running 
And once it's done, we'll go ahead and hop in Dynamics and show you those updated orders. In the meantime, I'll show you over here, we have this logs function. And this logs function is gonna tell you how many records have been read, received, and written over the course of every single run. So you're gonna have detailed information. Uh, so if there's ever any an issue, you would be able to understand quickly what happened, why it happened, and then we'd be able to help you out. But that's a very rare occurrence anyway, so hopefully you're never, uh, you're never digging in there. So let's go ahead and go to Dynamics and see if we have completed the run. We'll just hit refresh over here on the orders page. And there we go. We have the customer created and we have the order created. And the product. So here you can see product created, the Dynamics 365 and Shopify connector. We've got the pricing, we've got the customer, and we have a reference number for the order itself. So a unique identifier tying it back to the Shopify transaction itself. So that's a pretty straightforward example of how we use DB Sync to integrate Shopify and Microsoft Dynamics. I hope you found this useful. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out. You can contact me at connor.evans at mydbsync.com or you can go ahead and give us a call. Thanks so much.